Hey guys, it's Candy in the Land of Sushi. Welcome back to my channel. Last spring, I went on a three-day trip exploring Yufuin and Beppu. If you guys want to know the must-visit places and must-try activities there, then stick around as I tour you to two of Japan's top tourist destinations. For this trip, I availed of the Northern Kyushu Area Pass available to foreign residents. For 9,500 yen, you can travel around Fukuoka, Saga, Nagasaki, Kumamoto, and Oita prefectures for three days. From Hakata Station, I set off via Yufu One Limited Express, and the ride was a breeze. The journey took a little over two hours, but with the lovely view and comfortable seats, it felt like two minutes. Alright you guys, I just arrived at Yukuin Station. It's an amazing weather today. And this place is so nice. It's not so packed with tourists. Because it's a weekday. So finally, after walking uphill, I am now here where I'll be staying for two nights. I am so tired, you guys. Just gonna freshen up. Uh, I wonder where the truck is. Alright you guys, so I just left my luggage. I received news yesterday that they upgraded me. I was supposed to stay in another, a different hotel which is like their sister hotel or something. I just got lucky I guess. So right now I don't have an itinerary. I, I made an itinerary but I don't want to follow it. I just want to explore the place, just do whatever. Let's go! So you guys, this place Normally, this would be filled with tourists from China, Taiwan, Korea. But right now, it's basically just really, really empty. So we're approaching the main street. Full of like shops and restaurants, cafes. And over there, at the end of this street, is Yukuin Station. So I'm just walking towards Kinrin Lake right now and um, I'm still quite full. It's already 11, almost 12. I decided to go to the lake first, burn all my the calories I ate this morning. This is Mount Yufu. Look you guys, I found another super nice traditional inn. I can't read the kanji but it's nice. It's just as nice as the one I'm staying at. Hi. I swear I'm usually good at directions, but for some odd reason, I couldn't find my way to the lake and these guys caught my attention. I gave in and decided to ride on a rickshaw for the very first time. Kashiya? Hey guys, so I just arrived here at Kinrin Kinrin Lake. Kinrin Lake is famous for its enchanting and almost myth-like appearance. The cold and hot spring mixture causes steam to rise from its surface. The steam is mostly visible in autumn and winter mornings. I'm just walking around Kinrin Lake. Look at the sakura guys, it's in full bloom. What is this? Ah, oh, this is an onsen. One of the many relaxing things to do in Yufuin is to try an onsen or a bathhouse. If bathing naked with other people isn't your thing, try a private onsen. There are many around. That is a bathhouse and that one is a bathhouse. 
to in this one too. For now, I'll find food. I'm hungry. I wonder what that is. Is that a bathhouse too? All right, so this restaurant is the famous backdrop for Kinrin Lake. I'll check if I like their menu. All right, the price isn't bad. One six fifty for the whole set. All right, let's go. You guys, we are now inside the restaurant and um, I ordered steak. I'm getting hungry now. I just had lunch. If I'm not mistaken, it's Rampu. Rampusha. Rampusha. Alright, now I'm just walking around exploring the place and I found this. Those trees are gigantic. Ah, this one. Ryokan Kamenoi Beso. I this is the one the rickshaw driver told me about. Kamenoi Beso was built in 1921 as a country house for the VIPs of Kumahachi Aburaya, who is known as the father of tourism in Beppu. It is one of the oldest ryokans in the area as it celebrated its centennial year last year. A few steps away from the lake is this wooden mall where you can find cute souvenirs. So I decided to buy pellets for the fish. Okay, and we're back. Hawaii. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. <laughs> okay, you guys, I just got inside. So this is my room. I just got upgraded. It's a western style room instead of like a tatami room. And here is my toilet. Oh, and I have a shower! The room I bought was supposedly a shared bath. So right now I just really want to relax because I'm so tired. Super tired from all the walking and running. They have four private onsens here that I can use anytime. I can film inside. Okay you guys, I am onsen ready. Um, I can't wait to try their onsen. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So I'm trying the first private bath. When you're done or when the onsen is vacant, then you see this sign. But if it's occupied or you want to use it, then you have to flip it over. All right, let's get inside. So this is the first one. So you shower here before taking the dip. So this is the first onsen. I'm done bathing you guys. So right now, I'll just grab some, some cold drink. Tonight, I'll go back to Yotsunobu Street to find something to eat. I found this yakitori place. I'm craving for 
some meat. It looks promising on the outside. <laughs> I just had dinner, but uh, the old couple were kind of serious and I was like shy to take videos inside. There's an old sakura tree that is lit up. Very nice. So this is what's inside the building. It's closed already. Oh, city information center. Maybe I can visit tomorrow. Look at their toilet. It's onsen inspired. So I will be heading to Onsen number two. I'm gonna try the outdoor onsen. They only have one outdoor onsen and it's near my room. It says it's a vacant. Oh, nice. Let's check. Is that one? There's a mini tub. It looks like a mini tub with a rubber ducky over there. Hey guys, good morning. So I just got dressed for today. Um, I'm gonna head to the Floral Village, Yukuin Floral Village. I was not able to visit there yesterday, although I passed by the place. It was just so crowded with a lot of people that I decided not to go since I wanted to enjoy the place alone. I'll just quickly eat breakfast. I'll see you at the Floral Village. All right, I can see the Floral Village now. Heading out, um, I want to explore more of the place. I'm heading to the cafes and restaurants for some snacks. Maybe we can have some ice cream, some gelato. Look at that, you guys. 
I got cheese croquet. I'm going to Miruhe near the station since the one by Pinin Lake is a bit crowded. So here it is. The Miruhe Cafe. Mm. It smells so good. So I have here the pudding. Information Center, Tourist Center. Just going up to find out what's upstairs. Very nice food design. Beside the train station, you guys, there is an art exhibit. These are local Japanese artists. So I just got in the train station. I'm heading to Beppu Station. One of the perks of the JR Pass is a free unlimited ride of Yufuin No More. It is a luxurious resort train with wooden and modern interior that will surely make any trip worthwhile. There, something is smoking. So instead of walking towards there, going to Umijigoku, I want to check out this place first. The sakura is so beautiful, you guys. One of the interesting ones you see. Honestly, you guys, it smells like fart here. That's how like sulfur smells like. It smells like fart. Oh, so I just realized, guys, that the ticket they gave is actually a postcard. I guess I can say I'm in hell. It looks like milk or like cement. You know, when you mix cement with water, it looks like that. Next, I'm going to Umijigoku. So for Umijigoku, I got, I think this is a sticker. It's the perfect weather to stroll around here and it's the perfect season, you guys. The cherry blossoms are in full swing. So behind me, you guys, is Umi Shigo.
There's a greenhouse over there. Okay, you guys, so since I'm already very hungry, I'm planning to eat now. I think I saw a restaurant that serves Tori Ten. Tori Ten is um, chicken tempura, and that's the specialty here in Tepu. So I'm gonna try that. So we only do take out, I can eat outside. Hey, that's good. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's good. Right beside the takeout, um, chicken takeout counter, there is this park. It's called Otani Park. Even here, they have a hell. Right, you guys, so right now I'm planning to head back and watch more hells because I've only been to two of them. Okay, let's go to the third hell on earth. Yeah, overall, I had a good time here at this place. I enjoyed going to the mini museum aquarium. Alright you guys, so I just finished packing up my things. I am ready for checkout. I want to eat bungo steak or something. There's a restaurant that serves like the local famous local dish here. So I'm gonna eat brunch there. So unfortunately guys, they only serve set meals. And I ordered this one since this is the most famous here. From Fukuoka Airport, I will be flying to Okinawa. If you guys want to know how my trip went, then stay tuned for my next vlog. For now, thank you for watching and please hit the like and subscribe button for more of my Japan shenanigans. So that is our plane going to Okinawa.